Wax melts are an easier alternative to candle making as they're less messy, less expensive to make, and you can create customized scents, shapes, and sizes with them to suit your preferences. These melts are similar to my beeswax candle recipe, just on a smaller scale and with no wick. If you're not familiar with wax melts or how they are used, they are essentially blocks of scented wax that are heated on a wax warmer to diffuse different scents around the home. One of the benefits of using wax melts is that they last longer than standard candles, so are more affordable in the long run. Wax melts also don't give off any of the soot that burning wicks can, if not sourced carefully. This makes these melts a cleaner way to enjoy the aromatherapy benefits that essential oils can provide. Most of the popular wax melts, or candles for that matter, are made using paraffin wax. Paraffin wax is a petroleum based wax that, when burned, can emit toxins and chemicals like soot, toluene or benzene into the air which have been found to be harmful to our health when inhaled. But what's more, store-bought wax melts and candles also contain other toxic ingredients in the form of artificial fragrances and colorants. Since these fragrances and colorants don't have to be disclosed, you don't know what you're burning or how it could be impacting your health. Most chemical fragrances, for example, contain chemicals like phthalates to help prolong the life of the scent, and the long-term health implications of phthalates alone include cancer, human reproductive and developmental toxicity, endocrine disruption, birth defects, and respiratory problems. While soy wax is a step up from paraffin wax, it too isn't always the best option to use. This is because vendors may add a little paraffin wax to the soy wax blend to help with burning, and the vast majority of anything made with soy is made using genetically modified soybeans that have been treated with pesticides, herbicides, and so on. If you can find a completely clean soy wax that came from organic, non-GMO soybeans that were not treated with any chemicals, then go for it. For the base of this recipe, I'll be using beeswax, a wax that is much easier to source clean from trusted suppliers. Plus, beeswax can help to purify the air in your home as it burns. To scent the wax melts, I'll be using essential oils. You will need a candle warmer to place the wax melts in. You can make your own if you prefer using a mason jar and tea light candle or a desk lamp and a heat resistant ceramic dish. But if you don't want to DIY it, there are many great candle warmers available online to choose from, such as ones that plug straight into the wall, which are perfect for small spaces. Candle warmers simply warm the wax to help release the scents from the essential oils. This recipe also calls for a silicon mold to set the melts in, but you can substitute it with an ice cube tray if you don't have any molds on hand. To make these homemade DIY wax melts, Start by adding some water to a small saucepan and set it over medium heat. Place a heat proof bowl over the top of the saucepan to create a double boiler, then add in one cup of beeswax and a quarter cup of coconut oil. Melt the mixture over medium to high heat, stirring continuously until the wax has completely melted. Once melted, remove the bowl from the heat and allow the mixture to cool slightly before adding in 100 drops of essential oils of your choosing. You can use an essential oil blend or a single essential oil. I love to make lavender wax melts personally, but the options are endless. From there, pour the wax into the silicon molds or designated ice cube tray, then let the melts set overnight to completely harden. Gently remove them from the molds and store them in an airtight container once set. To use these melts, place one to three homemade wax melts into your candle warmer depending on the size of the warmer and the room you are trying to diffuse the scents in. They can melt and remelt several times before losing their scent. When the fragrance has weakened, wipe the candle warmer out and add in new wax melts, or add in a few drops of essential oils to the top of the melted wax to give it one last run before cleaning it out. Thank you so much for watching this video tutorial, I hope you found it helpful. Please let me know if you do try this recipe out yourself and what you think, I'd love to know. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll see you soon again.